On the 4th of July 1962, an oil tanker called British Signal sailed from Das Island carrying Abu Dhabi's first ever cargo of oil. The shipment, which was produced from Adn Opco's Umm Shaif field, ushered Abu Dhabi into a new era. Under the sound leadership of His Highness the President Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, the progress and achievements made since that time have affected not only Abu Dhabi, but also the United Arab Emirates as a whole. In the 40 years since that first shipment of oil from Abu Dhabi, the country has come a long way. And so has the oil and gas industry, advancing from pioneer days to the Adma Opco we know today. In 1954, Adma Limited was formed as a venture to operate the concession to prospect for offshore oil in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. Das Island was selected as a land base for prospecting, and skin divers explored the seabed, bringing up samples of rock for analysis. A year later, in 1955, an advance party landed on Das Island to begin construction work. The desert island had no freshwater or other resources to sustain the workforce that descended on it. All of the machinery, materials and supplies were brought in by boat. Accommodation for personnel and warehouses were constructed. An airstrip was prepared. And half a million tons of rock shifted to make the harbour walls. A new solution needed to be found to construct the first offshore oil platform because the shallow waters of the Gulf did not provide enough draft for the conventional assembly at sea using heavy lift barges. It was decided to construct the giant hull of the Adma Enterprise in Europe and tow it for 7,000 miles through the waters of the eastern Atlantic, around the Rock of Gibraltar past the port of Aden and into the Gulf. The platform arrived at Das Island after three months at sea. Once the leg extensions and deck equipment were fitted, the rig was secured in its position at sea. In 1958, the first offshore well was drilled in the Umm Shaif field of Abu Dhabi. And it was from this field that the first shipment of crude oil for the world market was exported on the British signal in 1962. Four years later, His Highness the President Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan became ruler of Abu Dhabi. Under his leadership, the oil industry developed, with drilling offshore and onshore into the Umm Shaif and Zakum fields. The liquefied gas plant on Das Island was inaugurated in December 1973. It was one of many projects that contributed to the development of Adma Opco. Abu Dhabi city grew alongside its oil industry. The island settlement of 50 years ago, with its fortress palace and scattering of dwellings, became a modern city with wide streets and green spaces. The people had access to good housing, education and medical services. Improved opportunities were also provided by the oil industry as it expanded. Personnel in the field was supported by research and monitoring in Adma Opco's laboratories. By advances in training and development and in occupational health and safety systems. In addition, sophisticated computer control and monitoring equipment linked by modern communications to new plant and facilities improved the efficiency of oil and gas extraction and processing, as well as putting high priority on preservation of the natural environment. In 1998, Adma Opco moved into the new company headquarters on the Corniche in Abu Dhabi. And it is from here that new initiatives for the 21st century continue to improve and grow the company.
As Adma Opco enters the next millennium, our commitment to produce clean, efficient fuel is matched by a renewed commitment to protect the environment. We are dedicated to preserving clear, unpolluted seas and skies while making careful use of our natural oil and gas reserves to produce clean fuel. Our new logo symbolizes how Adma Opco has built on the successful foundation of its first 40 years to become a company in tune with the needs of the new millennium, when clean, environmentally friendly energy is as vital as retaining our heritage and traditional values.